I thought this might make for a good uh, video. I got this computer here. This is all the connections. Right here. All the different terminals. You can see there the there's gold and then there's regular color. Pretty much the ones that are gold are pretty much like signals. Each you it's impossible really to hook up the connectors the wrong way because they're all different. If you look at them, they're they're all different. I thought this uh <clears throat> it's interesting to see how much technology goes into you know just a car's computer nowadays. This is the back side of it. You can see how sensitive it, these things could be though if you're if you're to get like uh you know you got all this all this technology right here. You know. This is a good one, so I don't want to damage it. what the inside of it looks like you can see when these things go bad if you fry something I mean I don't know about you you're not gonna be able to get in there and solder this stuff isn't soldered by hand this is like soldered by computers you know um, these right here look like they're the drivers right there some drivers right there I think those are drivers These are uh, probably the processors right here. <clears throat> it's amazing the amount of technology that just goes into an engine. These pro these right here are probably for the powers and grounds right there. For the actual to power this unit up. See where those terminals go right in. This will be the other side where the terminals come in. I mean, I guess there could be some things that you might be able to fix if it's like really, uh, you know, if it's real obvious. But I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not that good at soldering to be able to solder something like that. I know there is places you could send them in though, and they could have them. Uh, Fix, but I guess these are probably uh probably the drivers. I guess I'm not sure. That's what's inside a ECU. You'd be, you would have to be real good to be able to solder this. I'll tell you what, this is computer stuff. That the there's computer soldering these things. You're not going to be soldering these things by you know by hand. You're not going to be able to fix it. If it's damaged, it, it's probably damaged. You're going to have to get a new one or send it in or something. But uh, like I said, it's just it's just amazing the amount of a uh, technology that goes into a simple vehicle nowadays that's why some like when some people are saying they're saying you know you spend ten thousand dollars on a toolbox I mean a toolbox doesn't have nothing like this you know what I mean it doesn't have all the technology like this I mean just develop this type of technology took you know up to this point you know 
to develop this this type of technology to be able to build something that does what it does but um and that's a good argument really because you know you could buy a car for 10 grand or you could buy a, a toolbox for 10 grand but a toolbox is sheet metal you know what I mean with some ball bearings that's an argument a lot of the times but uh I guess these are the processors I think it's cool looks like a city or something I'm sure you could see though uh, if you like you'll see burn marks if you really had a real big problem but uh, you see why you want to be careful when you're testing modern engines nowadays though because uh, you, you I mean look how delicate these things are right here you know these things aren't really robust I mean I'm sure they could handle their fair amount of of uh, abuse but um you know when, you, when you're when you're talking about this little this board right here uh, you're, you're not gonna you're, you're gonna want to know what you're doing when it comes to the cars you don't want to just go fiddling around with everything thanks for watching comment rate subscribe